Hello, I'm Sonia Larson, American Fulbright Scholar researching in the field of musicology. I grew up on a farm in southwestern Minnesota, where I started singing and dancing to an audience of my sheep and horses. When I was in elementary and high school, I was involved in music and theater, and then I decided that I wanted to become a professional musician. So I studied vocal performance with an emphasis in opera at Viterbo University in La Crosse, Wisconsin. I'm also putting together projects that will bring people from all over the world together through music. Music has played an important role in the lives of humans for tens of thousands of years. The oldest instruments are flutes that were made about 43,000 years ago out of bird bones and mammoth ivory. Before language developed, people used to use sounds to express themselves. Screaming, sighing, groaning, moaning, and these sounds turned into singing later on. In ancient times, music played an important role in festivals, religious ceremonies, but also in people's private homes. Today, we still sing together on birthdays, weddings, and even on sad occasions like funerals or memorial services. Until not too long ago, when people wanted to get together and sing, they had to be in the same place. But now, thanks to technology such as the internet, Skype, and video and audio recording, people from all over the world are able to sing together without being in the same place. One such project is the United International Virtual Choir. What is a virtual choir? It is not a choir of beeping computer sounds or electronic music, but rather recordings of real people in different countries and different cities from all around the world singing together. How do you make a virtual choir? It takes a lot of teamwork with a lot of people involved. First, a composer must write the music. Then you must have a conductor, you must have singers, a videographer, video editors, sound engineers, and a project manager. First, a piece of music must be composed. I worked with Dr. Mary Ellen Halpert of Viterbo University in La Crosse, Wisconsin in the United States to compose an entirely new piece of music that no one has ever heard before. Mary Ellen composed this piece with six parts. This means that six different people, soprano one, soprano two, alto one, alto two, tenor and bass will all sing different parts. These parts will come together to make the entire piece. The piece also contains a piano and percussion accompaniment that plays underneath the choir. When a choir gathers in person, one person, a conductor, directs the entire choir. They give tempo markings, dynamics, and make sure that the entire choir sings together. In a virtual choir, however, since people are not together and cannot hear one another, they have to follow a virtual conductor. Our virtual conductor is Jean Saladino of Viterbo University in La Crosse, Wisconsin. She recorded one video, which we uploaded to YouTube, so that people could make video recordings of themselves to the same one conductor and be all together at once. As the project manager, I emailed people and used social media, such as Facebook, to invite people all around the world to be part of the virtual choir. There was one website with instructions so that anyone could be involved. People from all around the globe made videos for the United International Virtual Choir. All of these videos will be put together to make one entire virtual choir. There are many people involved in this part of the project as well. In a live choir, choir members do their part to be sure that their voices are balanced with the other members of the choir. In a virtual choir, however, this is the job of the sound and video engineers because the choir members cannot hear one another when they're recording to the virtual conductor. This will make sure that all of the videos will be synced together. Music has incredible power to connect people. It can help us understand people of different cultures, languages, countries, and beliefs. Paired with technology, there is no limit to what you can do through music. So use your imagination. What will you do to connect people through music?